Hi everyone, this is Teacher Chain of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Music! Kung saan pag-usapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagha! Hi everyone! I'm Teacher Jane, your science teacher. Today, we're going to make our own wave generator. For the information of everyone, a wave generator is a science project that will show us how waves are generated or produced. In making our wave generator, we only need four materials. We need barbecue sticks, a ruler, masking tape or packing tape, and modeling clay. Let's set aside the barbecue sticks and packing tape. Then, take it out of its plastic cover. Separate the clays by color. After dividing, you roll each piece and to form a sphere. Repeat the steps until you have many clay spheres or clay balls. Next step, get a barbecue stick and place clay balls on the edges of the barbecue stick. Repeat this step until you have the desired number of barbecue sticks with clay balls that you want for your wave generator. In my case, I'm going to make 40 sets of barbecue sticks with clay balls. Set aside the barbecue sticks with clay balls first. Now let's build the base of our wave generator. Let's prepare a long length of packing tape. Make sure that the spaces between the parts of your wave generator are even. It is recommended that you use a ruler to evenly space the distance between them. I decided to place 2 inches in the spaces of my barbecue stick. I have finally placed all the barbecue sticks with clay balls on the packing tape. We are going to add a top layer of packing tape on our wave generator to make sure that it will not break when we manipulate it later on. I built this with the help of my friend in 30 minutes. As you can see, each part of our wave generator is evenly spaced. There are 2 inches spaced in between each barbecue stick. We also added an extra layer of tape to make our wave generator more durable. How does this wave generator work? Let's start with a single pulse. As you can see, a disturbance travels from this point to that point. If you look closely, it is not actually the colored clay which are moving. Instead, it is the twist or the wave which moves from this point to the next. If I move this part of the wave generator, it is passed on to the next through the tape. We can create a bigger wave by exerting more energy in the initial point. This wave generator is actually a concrete representation of transverse waves. What are some examples? When we strum a guitar, waves are produced. I hope you learned more about waves in our science project today. Bye!